Now, if you run a small businesses, one of the biggest challenges you might say is how do you stand out in the crowd? Yeah, small and medium sized firms, well, they make up the vast majority of business. They employ 16.3 million people in the UK alone. That is 60% of all private sector employment in the UK. But 73% of UK businesses feel they have struggled to make their business viable online. Yeah, over half of small businesses feel that, well, Google favours big brands over small businesses, certainly when it comes to visibility in those search results. And so uh, the founder of our next company, who's joined us, is hoping to change all of that. You saw her on those graphics, if you're wondering <laughs> who that woman was. It's Christine Tellian, co-founder and chief executive of you and I, welcome to Business Live. Nice to see you, welcome. Thank you. When I read about your company this morning and I had a look at what you do, I just thought you're one of so many people out there who are doing just this, are you not? No, uh, you know, what really distinguishes us is that we're working to help all small businesses get online globally. Our customers are plumbers, accountants, hairdressers, retailers, and basically what they do is they go on to uni.com from any device, smartphone, and they answer a couple of questions, basically tell us what their business does, and in a couple of days we'll build them a complete website um, that has all the content, all the copy written, all the images selected, all the SEO done for them. And I wanted to ask actually, because I'm surprised, and we were talking about this mm. this morning, of how many firms still aren't online. It's a staggering number. And, and I mean, partly because look, if you're a plumber or a builder or a you know, odd job man, whatever it might be, that's not your priority, is it? Doing the work is your priority and sorting out taxes and things like that. So you help them get online for the first time. That's absolutely right. I mean, there are a lot of website builders out there, but they leave the work to the business owner. And as a plumber, I'm not a copywriter. And so we write the text for them, we select the images, we take care of the tech. Certainly what's important here is that we're reaching a large scale of businesses. So now we see uh, over 2,000 businesses signing up every day. By the end of next year, we aim to be at 3 million businesses online with us. And the key really that we've been investing in is scale up of our base at a very low cost. Certainly tech helps us do this. We're active in the US, in Mexico, in India, in Spain. Uh, we're soon launching Brazil. And what we see is that you know the, the potential and the growth, um, particularly we do see in uh, emerging markets. But, but what's attractive about that? That scale is to your investors is what that provides for them in, in terms of data in in terms of being exposed to the three million customers you may have in the future well it's it's very uh, important that we're, we're careful there because we are not going to have third parties um, contacting our customers at, at will it's really about us providing curated services that are relevant to the small businesses and provide value to them um, it's really nice to talk to you. We could talk much more, but there's so much to fit in the programme, as always. Uh, but Christine, it's good to talk to you. Good luck Thank with you it. Thank you so much. It's a really interesting project. Christine Tullian there, co-founder and chief executive of UNI.